You'll notice this one, we have um, the sixth root of 8x times the cube root of 2x in reduced radical form. Once again, I'm looking at these numbers, 8 and 2, and asking myself, can I write either one of them as some number, the same number to a power? Well, 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, right? This is 2 to the first, this is 2 to the third. So I have the sixth root of 2 cubed x, I'm going to total x to the first, times the cube root of 2 to the first x to the first. If I'm going to make fractional powers, I like to see those first powers in there, so I, I've got my brain wrapped around the fact of making a fraction out of an inside number divided by a root. Notice this time the roots aren't the same. 6 is not the same as 3. So again, this technique I just showed you a moment ago has to be used in this case. So again, if we just use this technique, it works every single time. When they're the same, there's a different way you can do it. It's just a slight bit easier, but not enough to learn two different ways to do it. So um, this is going to be 2 to the 3 over 6 x to the 1 over 6 times 2 to the 1 over 3 x to the 1 over 3. Can make everything a fractional power. Can everyone see that 3 6 reduces? Okay, if I want reduced radical form, I want everything to have the same denominator. So reducing things isn't as helpful in these cases unless everything reduces the same denominator. So this reduces to 2, that's not the same as 3, which is not the same as 6. So uh, it's, it's probably better to leave it not reduced, just as is. It seems like I can get everything into a 6, right? So let's make that happen. So um, I'm going to keep this 2 to the 3 6, x to the 1 6. This is going to be 2 to the uh, 2 6 and x to the 2 6. Multiply top and bottom by 2, multiply top and bottom by 2. So now that I have 2's common denominators, X's common denominators, if I multiply them together, 3 6 plus 2 6 is 5 6. 1 6 plus 2 6 is 3 6. And again, 3 6 is 1 half, okay, but this is a 6, that's a 6, it's better to keep them both in the same. Which means that if I'm going to radical form, 5, 6, and 3, 6 are both proper, so there's no mixed numbers happening this time, so there's no whole numbers I can pull out. So everything's going to stay underneath the radical. The radical is going to be a sixth root. If I start with the 2 part, I'm going to have 2 to the 5th power, which is 2 times 2 is 4, 8, 16, 32. So 2 to the 5th is 32. And then my x to the 3 6, x is x, so I can't do anything to make that simpler. x to the third power is x to the third power. That would be the simplest form of that answer. One radical, in this case is sixth root of a simplified expression. Yes? Can you slide the board up a tiny bit? That way? Up? Yeah. How about if I go up and to the right? Is that good? Yeah.